Hey guys, Terra Pup here, and first of all, I want to apologize for being unkept. Uh, I've been waxing lately, but the last two days I just got back from doing like a, a week out, week home, week out. Luckily, I'm going to be home for a while. Uh, I really miss recording and doing stuff. I know a lot of people have been subscribing and posting comments. I really need to go up there and do do some uh, replies to it. So, um, yeah, if you think my channel is dying, no. I actually, where I work at, took a lateral promotion, which is kind of cool but kind of weird. Uh, I can't go into it much, but I'll just say one thing. I was working with Windows XP. There are still systems, critical systems out there running XP, and it's kind of amazing, but also kind of scary. Anyway, uh, so I want to get this video out today so I can just uh, explain something to you guys. So while I was out, the first week I was out, I took my Radix um, X2L, and I did do a live cast with this. This is the 8 gig model, and it's running Fedora, but I have a Windows uh, disk that I can put in there. Not disk, NVMe. So it's really easy to get to, and um, it, this was pretty nice. Uh, it's not bad. You know, again, x86. So I'll put this back here at 4 gig. The other thing I had during that trip was I took my Orange Pi CM4 8 gig, and this was pretty nice. Um, the only problem I had was I was trying to run two verts and still do stuff, and it kind of slowed down. Um, not the fault of the board. It was just I was really pushing it. But this little cube from Desk Pi, okay, um, it's not a bad little uh, board, or, or sorry, not a little bad little case. And yes, it does work with an Orange Pi CM4. Um, and I got the uh, OS on an SD card because I'm using the NVMe that you can put in here for the verts. But this was a nice little project, okay? The other thing I did, and you guys are probably wondering, hey, Terrapup, you, you posted that one video of this, the UE2X1, and you didn't talk. Well, I wanted to show that the fan was pretty loud. And talking to a buddy of mine, um, I'm not going to say his name because I need to learn how to pronounce it. And if a, if you're a friend of mine and I never call you by your name, it's out of respect. If I can't pronounce it being dyslexic, I won't say it. But trust me, I do like you, I do care about you, and that's why I won't say it. But anyway, we were talking, he said, this is more powerful than the Radix X2L. But I ran this uh, while I was out running Windows 10 on the EMC. It comes pre-installed. Yeah, it was a little bit loud, but I really enjoyed it. Um, normally, this is my Proxmox server for one of my networks. I'm going to put it back over there today. Uh, the only other problem I'm, I had, I stripped a screw, so it looks kind of ugly. But overall, besides the fan, it performed really nice. Um, so, yeah, this was pretty cool. So, all right. But this video is going to be a little bit different because I want to talk to you guys about if you're out in public, um, how to have fun and entertainment without a board. Hopefully one day I can figure out how to power those with like a, a power supply so that they're portable. Uh, maybe even, uh, I don't know, maybe if I could figure out how to run a CM4, uh, especially the Orange Pi because it's way much better than the, the Raspberry Pi CM4. But uh, that's me. Um, it's my unbiased opinion. Just because I've worked with all uh, banana, orange, and um, raspberry, all their CM4s. 
I'm still trying to find the other CM4s. I'm trying to get Big Tree to give me one so I can review. <coughs> Been in talks, but it's not going well. But anyway, what I want to talk about, and you see it here on the big screen, and um, is this. This is an iPega controller. It's Bluetooth. What's cool about it is you can expand it to work with a tablet. Uh, this is a Fire tablet. I'm a big fan of Android's uh, Fire tablet. Uh, I also like Samsung. Uh, they're you know their S tablets, very good um, tablets. Part of the reason I love them is they keep them up to date. They're not throwaways. Originally, a lot of the Android tablets that came out were you would buy it, and then the support would go away, and then you end up like I do. I have a I have a drawer full of like stuff I would buy and. You know, you're spending three, four hundred bucks for a tablet, and you probably only get a couple years use out of it. Asus probably had the coolest tablet in the early days ever because you could buy a keyboard with battery on it, plug it up to it, and yeah, it went out very well. I'm at out of support real quick, not very well. Sorry, I'm tired, I'm home. I'm going to start recording again. But anyway, the reason I wanted to bring that up is put this over here. And yeah, I am going to be working on the, the ban Banana Pie um, R4. I want to give it proper time. I did get notification that my wireless card is on its way. So I want to do the full, uh, full board. But anyway, getting back to the iPega, um, this was awesome. As you guys know, I have a second channel called Terra Mine. Uh, I'm moving a lot of my Minecraft content over to there. If you look at my channel and you go back way to the beginning, you'll see a lot of um, Minecraft stuff with me not talking, just me building. And I want to continue that because, yeah, for a 56 old adult male, uh, it probably seems weird that I like to play a kid's game. But I really love to go in there and build stuff because it helps me unwind and be stress-free. So if you like that kind of stuff, look at TerraMind. Uh, it should be in the description. But anyway, getting back to this, I was using this with this in the airports. And I was loving it. This uh, So the iPega is Bluetooth. And the only downside to it is hold on is my case in if i put this in the case it's not really secure even if i you can lock it in the back it really wanted to fall out i wish they would design these cases are kind of designed to be, you know, um, rugged. If they would put, like, a little feet a little bit out where it would lock it, that would be great. But putting this in, let me show you guys, like this, and locking it. Yeah, it goes up and down, so maybe if they could figure out, a, like, a little clip or something... That you could add to it but anyway this was my entertainment this was awesome and another thing that was really cool about this now i i haven't tried moonlight moonlining if you don't know what that is go look out uh sorry go do a look up for sunshine and moonlight moonlight is the client that you install on like your raspberry pi your phones your tablets and you can connect to your PC. I have an older AMD uh, uh, Radeon uh, 580 and part of the reason I still use it, it works. Uh, my motto is if it works, don't fix. Plus talking with people, I would have to go out and buy a new 
motherboard and everything and i just don't have that kind of money you know i'm trying to sponsor this ch you know this channel myself hopefully one day i can get big time sponsors to help me out so i can do more for you guys but that that's a story for another day but anyway i was enjoying this now another thing that was really cool about using this okay was the fact that xbox i know it's weird i'm a linux guy i'll be honest with you i am a diehard linux guy but when it comes to gaming i and consoles i actually prefer xbox uh over nintendo and playstation uh i was a big nintendo fanboy i had original nes my um love of my life she bought me a super N nintendo and when it burnt up in the fire i cried because that was like the one thing she gave me that i absolutely love but that's a side story for another day and you know i got a wii uh, a buddy of mine gave me a, a a 64 but unfortunately i had to get rid of it at the time and that's a story another story i bought a wii for my son uh he absolutely liked it and i played it for a while and i you know i'm a big zelda fan i have a you know a few numbers but i really like uh xbox i have all of them i know weird a buddy of mine gave me an original uh xbox uh an og i understand now why xmbc was very popular because that's the interface that they took from uh xbox okay uh, it's really nice. Cody used, uh, kind of used it at the beginning. Okay. Um, I have an Xbox 360 that part of the reason, oh, actually, I, yeah, part of the reason I got that was Minecraft. Uh, me and my kids playing it. Okay. Um, you know, it was kind of cool doing split screen and, and sitting there and doing something with the kids. And that's kind of how I got hooked. And then, you know, I can go on, on and on. But anyway, I have Xboxes. Well, I have Minecraft on my phone. Um, okay. It is pretty nice. I do have... Uh, the one thing that is kind of weird is I... Years ago, I signed up to be in their beta program. So, um, you know... I, I'm playing Bedrock on my phone, and um, I'm playing versions that are, like, way ahead of stuff. So I can't join, like, games with people. Okay. You know, that other people are playing because, you know, it's the test stuff. Okay. All right, and just to show you guys, should hook up here in a second. It's hooked up. This is one little world that I was playing with. Okay. Okay. But this was so nice. Now, okay, we're going to quit this. Give me a second. And what's nice is, even though the, the layout, if you look at it, is very uh, PlayStation-like controller, it works very nice, okay? All right. But here's the really cool thing. Now, I've installed Moonlighting. i got to figure out how to get it to work with this. But... This right here, this is really cool. Um, as many people, well, you probably don't know this. Uh, I like uh, 
I'm a big fan of Fallout. And if you haven't tried it, this is the Xbox uh, Beta Cloud. And it is so nice. Now, I will say one thing. Okay, and sorry, my... I got to get real cameras, guys. If you saw, you've seen my setup. It's all um, webcam. So, yeah, the lighting is, you know, maybe that works out better. But on my, this a, a, a critique, because I, I try to give you guys negatives with the positives. This on my phone, it's doable. Okay still loading up it's doable but the power of the ultra 23 um seems a bit i don't know if it's the video or the processor but it was very very uh laggy okay See if I can get this. But as you can see, the graphics on this is pretty nice. So, anyway, I actually found out my fire tablet does a better job but when you're traveling it is it's amazing the technology because think about this with decks okay and i'm going to try to do that later today just to see how well it, it will do i'm actually going to hook this up to a usb c docking station and i'm going to uh, run the beta and see how it works with my monitors but um, it is amazing. Pretty soon we're not going to need laptops. All we're going to need is like a controller that we can put this into. Okay. And um, a USB hub. And a, a decent USB monitor. But anyway, I did want to show you guys uh, something. Uh, if, you uh, if you know of a better controller, one that's more Xbox design give me give me a shout i know et prime he does a lot of this stuff um i'll go look on his channel but i actually i'd like another controller in case something happens to this i've already my logitech uh, k585 believe it or not i already lost the key on it and i'm not happy about that but you know it's a travel uh device so you know, let me know in the comments, okay? Do you guys do anything like this? Do you do onboards with this? Do you try to make your own handheld consoles? Uh, let me know. And, yeah, this is my ugly face, and normally I don't show it. I, I want to, you know, I'm real big about showing the tech. But for once, like I said, I'm excited. My AHAD is all over the place, as you can tell. I have not had a rock star. But... I just wanted to share how cool it is that we can now do gaming in places where we go, okay? Again, I just would like a better design case. If you guys know of people who make cases, maybe design, I don't know, get, get with the console people. And let's come up, because see how this is sliding up and down? That's a concern of mine. Anyway, this is... Uh, this is Terrapup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel. Everything that you see here is done out of the love of my heart. I, um, when I do get boards like the banana pie from, you know, vendors, and shout out to them. They are awesome uh, for letting me test their stuff and give them feedback and opinions. Um, I'm hoping to get other board companies to do that, but... Unless I get more subscribers, they 
just look at me as someone uh, not worthy of their time, but everything I do here is unbiased. You will never see me liking, well, that's not true. You'll never see me tout one board over the other. Yes, I'll like them, but I'm going to keep that to myself, okay? But anyway, peace, love, okay, and keep hacking. That's why I do this stuff. I am a gray hat hacker, and if I can figure out ways that I can do something that's not normal, I'm going to share it with you guys. So until next time, this is Carapop.